super happy to have Bachit on the channel. He is incredible bartender. If you guys uh, never seen him, he works at a carnival court. So today he will show to you three tricks with only one shaker that really, really easy to learn. Hey, what's up everybody? Vache here. How you doing? Today I'm going to show you a couple quick tricks that you could do at the bar that you could do anywhere. It doesn't matter what you're making. If you're making a cocktail drink or if you're making a smoothie at your next summer party, this will be a fun little way to be a life of a party and add a little bit of flair to your day, okay? Okay, here's the first move. So the first one is actually kind of like a little tin dance, almost like a centrifuge thing that I like to call. Um, so basically, there's many ways of you to get into this trick, and all it's gonna do is you wanna end up having the tin on the bar, and you can have any kind of bottle you want, whether it's square, round, short, tall, big, small, I don't care what you have, as long as it has a little bit of a neck and a pour spout, you'll be able to do this trick, okay? So the basis of the trick is the tins are on the bar, or it's already on top of the tin, however you want to get it there, right? So we're going to just, for the sake of demonstration purposes, we're going to start out with it on the bar. And all you're going to do is you're just going to stick the tip of the bottle into the tin like this. Pick an edge, doesn't really matter what edge, but get it close to an edge. And I like to just put it in just a little bit, maybe to like pour spout length, maybe just a little bit more. And all you're going to do is basically just spin it around and try to get like a centrifuge effect, okay? So just do it nice and slow, you know, and it starts to kind of get going. And then as it gets going, you can almost use like the edge of the pour spout as like a bumper. If you see that it's gonna kind of get away from you or something, you know, you almost use it as like a bumper like this, you kind of stop it. So let's try that again. You're just gonna spin it. And then as it kind of gets going, you can kind of like lift up. So that's how you basically start it. You just want to just kind of get it going a little bit and then lifting up and trying to get used to what it's gonna do. Every tin is gonna dance different, every size is different, so you're gonna have to play around with your respectable tins, whatever you're using. This one we're using here, America the Beautiful, affiliate link down below. <laughs> uh, so once you kinda get a feel of like what's going on, you're like, oh, okay, kinda it's doing something, you know? Do a little bit more and you'll get a little bit more dance out of it, right? So the whole premise is learning your tin and learning the way it dances. Now it's gonna dance a little bit different on this surface, and then we're gonna put it here on this surface. It might dance a little bit different on this surface. You know what I mean? So you can kind of get an idea. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try it with liquid. So you can kind of see a few different ways that I like to use it. So let me show you where I use one of these tricks the most. And it's when I need to use a lot of a single spirit, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna stick it in there as it's pouring, get the dance going. And as it's pouring, just kind of, just, just kind of pour away from it and it'll dance and it'll stop. You could stop whenever you want, depends on how much you need, okay? So really work on getting the tin spinning, getting the dance, and then you can learn on how to extend it. I'm gonna try a couple extensions here for you right now. Here we go. Get it pouring, get a nice spin going, really get it in there. Make sure it's not gonna fall over. As soon as you know it's not gonna fall over, you know, lift it up. You can go up. You can do some Jedi mind trick if you wanna to try to like stop the bottle. One thing to be really mindful of is how much liquor that you're actually pouring in the tin because it comes out quick and it comes out fast and there's gonna be a lot of liquor when you're done. For me, I work at Carnival Court, Las Vegas Strip. We make a bunch of yard drinks, so there's a lot of instances where we do need a lot of alcohol at one time. But in an everyday use, you can use this if you need to make, say, two or three, four or five uh, vodka drinks, rum drinks, or whatever you want, okay? So try that out. And just for a fun sake, I'm gonna show you how to do a real quick ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half version of it, okay? Just stick it in as it starts pouring, give it a little dance, lift it up, and you're done. And it's still spinning, it's still spinning. As with all flair, there's a time and place for everything. So on that first one that I showed you, you know, you can kind of do that to uh, build up your crowd, to kind of get the place going. This next one is if you've kind of got the crowd captured and you want to give them a little bit more, people are paying attention to you, I think this is a really good time to pull this one out, okay? So I'm gonna show you here now the next one. Comfortable. Yes. For the record, we try to 
Okay. This is how we get her on edge. Whoa. And if you need ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half, you know, you could pour it here. If you're actually making another drink that maybe requires another bottle, you can move around with this. And you could still keep a balance. Just grab something else, add a little bit of that in there. If you want to make a Long Island, add a little bit of that gin in there. So, there you go. Cool. So some quick little pointers about getting this trick going. If you're having a hard time with it or if you're not understanding exactly what's going on or where you're having a hard time, um, you know, really work on your control. First, first get your flips really solid. And then once you get it to your forearm, you know, find, find a good balance point. For me, you know, it, it pretty much stalls exactly where I need it to. And then once it's at this point, you know, I just try to just roll my arm a little bit to the right and just let the tin kind of lean to the left. Small movement, just like everything else. Any kind of balancing that, that you're doing, any stall, it's all about small movements. So, you know, you see here just these really, really small movements and I'm kind of over exaggerating so you can kind of see it moving around and I'm correcting it. But if I just want to stop and just kind of get it on edge, it's, it's like right there. I'm just really trying to get it extremely on edge while I just kind of show you. But that's basically, that's basically the trick. And if you're having a hard time doing that, pick it up, put it there. Find a spot where you're like, oh man, like no, there for sure it's never gonna balance there. That's too much, you know what I mean? Maybe, that's the spot. So now I found my magic spot. I could, I could put it there and I could balance it really nicely. So now going from a forearm stall up there, a lot easier. So try that. So a good way to get this move going is you wanna start by pouring about a quarter to a half ounce of liquid and then flipping it. So really work on getting this dialed in. Really work on having the control of getting this up and down without getting any of the liquor spilt. Once you got that going, right to the forearm, okay? Try that. The moves that I've been showing you, I just want you to know that these are moves you could do with any bottle, whether it's, you know, shamboard, small, round, you know, doesn't, I don't know any instance where anyone's gonna need this much shamboard, but I just wanna just let you know you can use any bottle. And same with this move. And always remember, practice with plastic first and glass later. Woo. So I'm gonna break down the move. I'm gonna use this green tin over here for uh, visuals. So this is just an extension of the arm roll that you're already doing, right? This is the arm roll. You've done this a thousand times. So first things first, you need to practice this part. You know, practice that about 10 times in a row. And basically you're just, you're just doing that. You're just spinning it up, right? Just putting a little bit of backspin on it and you're just kind of getting under it, right? So like this. And you can kind of see it's, you're almost pushing it forward and getting ready for that roll. So once you get that, you've done that a few times, just stick your arm under it and extend the roll. Just a couple quick pointers about, about doing this trick, okay? Really practice the roll. Like, don't cheat the roll, don't cheat yourself. Really get the full extension of the roll, both on this part and on that part, you know? You could catch it in a couple different places, of course. You could catch it in the front, or you could just let it go and catch it in the back. So once you really get the roll, look, I'm, I'm, I'm letting it roll. I'm not just throwing it here and catching it here. Really get the roll, okay? So that when you do this, it looks good. It looks all, see that one did not look good. It looks all the way down. You know, you want it to go all the way down. Let's try behind the back. All the way down, okay? I caught a little bit weird, but you get the idea. Don't cheat yourself, don't cheat the roll. And this is how I normally do it. And pour. There you go. Well, there you have it, guys. Three some of my favorite moves that I do every day behind the bar. If you liked what you saw, please comment. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you want to see more of. And also, make sure you go over to uh, my channel, Vache Manukian, and my Instagram at flying.v. Give me a follow, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.